All right, here you go, Buttercup. Buttercup. Here is your official Easter basket. Yeah. Hopefully you got some things that you needed. And there's a little letter that you might want to read. Yo guys, DJ Lynn Barbosa back with another YouTube video. And as y'all can see, man, I'm solo dolo. I'm not real sour out because y'all read the title and saw the thumbnail. I'm going to be making an Easter basket for Rosada. I don't know if it's on her channel yet, but she made me an Easter basket whenever I got back home from San Antonio. And bro, every time I come back, she always surprises me. So I want to surprise her with an Easter basket. So I'm at Walmart right now. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to grab some things and then we're going to build a basket and surprise her. All right, guys, we're inside. We're on our way. I already know all the Easter stuff is over here. I think I'm going to grab everything and then I'm going to show you all what I get whenever I went inside the car. So I don't know how many of you know, but me and Rosada have officially been talking for like six months now. And this is our first ever Easter together. So, we were watching one of my old videos and I saw, I think it's the foundation she uses or like, I don't know, if you go back to our Zodiac video, we went to Walmart and we got her makeup. So just like that as a little memorable thing, I'm, gonna, I'm in the makeup aisle right now and I'm gonna get her that same makeup. She says she still uses it, so you know I'm gonna surprise her with it. Gonna get some of these. All right, guys, so I'm in the candy aisle, but I don't see no peach rings, guys. Peach rings is Rosada's favorite candy, and I don't see them. I don't even know if Omar carries them, bro. I know I'm not blind. I literally got 20-20 vision, LASIK eye surgery. But I do not see them. I'm going to look. I'm going to keep on looking. Maybe I'm just tripping. But I think I'm going to have to go to another store. I don't think I'm be able to get everything here, to be honest. 12 seconds later. All right, guys, I found them. The trolley sweet peach rings. Peach rings. I've never seen them in this bag before, but now I know. All right, guys, so I just took a massive freaking L. I actually forgot my phone. So, um, the guy at the thing, he said he's going to hold my car, hold all my stuff, um, hold the flowers that I got. I didn't show y'all. But I got to go to the apartment real quick and get my freaking wallet, bro. I can't believe I did this. Run, another thing I just remember is I'm about to go inside the house. Rosada was sleeping. I told her I was going to be back, but I don't know if she's going to be awake now. And then she's going to be wondering what I'm doing, why I left and come back. So I got to come up with something, tell her I'm going to go get food or something so I could go get this basket for her and surprise her. So far, this is not going well. All right, guys, so I'm back in the garage, finally at the apartment. Hopefully, I can get my wallet and not, not be a little suspicious about what I'm doing. I secured the wallet, now back to freaking Walmart. All right guys, so there's my basket with the flowers and my stuff. I got my wallet now. All right guys, so I stopped and I got some Sonic. Um, Sonic just came back with the Red Bull slushes for summer. Um, I got the Red Bull, strawberry, and nerds, but this shit is so good. It has like that little Red Bull taste. I low key forgot about it. I'm so happy that they freaking brought it back, guys. If, I wish I had my own like Sonic flavor, slush, whatever. But yo, go try this out. Go try it. Let me know what you think. It's so good. All right, I swear, guys, this is the freaking third Walmart I've been to. And I'm trying to look for the black version of these. I think they're called blackberries. Those are called raspberries. They got to be called blackberries. But Rosa loves them, bro. And they don't have any. I've literally been to three Walmarts. So I think it's time to just say F it. And I just got to go somewhere, bro. Somewhere that has them. I'm going to keep on looking, but hopefully I can find them. All right, guys, I'm praying that they have it at Kroger. I've never been to Kroger. I don't know what Kroger's like. Bro, look at the first thing I see. All right, I'm grabbing two of these joints, man. Finally. First thing. Literally, guys, like, there's the door. There's that. I'm going to start packing the basket now, but before we start, one of the things I'm also going to throw in there, um, these new anchor chargers. So if y'all don't know, me and Rosado, we have our side of the bed. My side is the right side, hers is the left side. And we have like two chargers on the side of the bed. And like Rosa's charge be bugging out sometimes. I remember her phone be dying sometimes and like the charger doesn't work or you got to put it a certain way. So I got these new anchor chargers. There's this one right here. And there's this one right here and I and I did a little research like what chargers are better than Apple chargers because like there has to be some company some brand that makes better chargers you know what I'm saying and this was the best brand that I could find I got her this big brick because she can charge her her Mac right here and her freaking phone on the bottom as two USB ports so compared to the big brick Apple charger this has two ports and it charges faster so I was like bro this is a no-brainer she could charge 
two things at once and it's smaller than the big Apple charger. And like I said, this is a fast charger too. So I got her two chargers. Um, I partnered up with Anchor and they sent me out two chargers. Um, and this is just a little extra, some electronic that I wanted to throw in her basket. And they have really good quality stuff. They got these little thingies so like you can wrap your cords up if you want to. It's super sleek and slim. Like these two things right here are pink and they're just really high quality, you know? Sometimes chargers brands, get, like they break and they're not high quality. So I did my research and this is one of the best brands you can get to charge your phone. You can even get the bricks to match the color of your phone too. If you wanna go check them out, shout out to Anchor for sending me these chargers. So I'm gonna start making the basket right now. It's getting dark, it's getting late and Rosada told me that she wants to go get Chick-fil-A, so I was like, all right, bet. She's not gonna be hungry, you know, starving, whatever. And a lot of the stuff that got her is food related, so. But yo guys, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of this, uh, what is this called? I don't know, I'm gonna call it fluff, all right? We're gonna put some fluff at the bottom, just so it doesn't look like plain or naked, you know? It need to have a little life. Um, Now I'm just gonna try to place all this so I'm gonna show you everything we got we got some Cheetos because you know Rosada loves Cheetos recently I saw her snacking on some Pringles so I was like you know I'm gonna get her some Pringles um, we got peach rings right here and then we got these little uh, Ferrero Rocher I don't know what I'm saying. Y'all know about these. And Loki, I think they got, I, they scam me, bro, because I think there's supposed to be one more on the top. And, I don't know. It's whatever. So I know I'm really close, but I'm also going to do a handwritten letter. I didn't show y'all me buying this, but I bought some pen and a letter. Um, and then I also got her this uh, Maybelline Concealer uh, 22 Wheat. All right, this is the one that I saw her using, so I got that for her in case, you know, she needs a refill. We got her her favorite blackberries. We put these in here. Right. So I got this. I'm going to kind of just put this right here. And then I need to put the flowers in that. But, so I wanted to write a letter to her. And I know, like, this is a little more personal. But I feel like, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this on Easter. But I'm doing this because I really want to show my appreciation to her. So I'm going to write it real quick. And then I'm going to read it back to you. All right, guys. So I know I said I was going to read you the letter. Um, but I'm just a little shy. Um, I kind of, I'm not going to show you the card, but I wrote the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? So I really, I'll just read a couple things. I still remember the first few weeks moving in and you were throwing up all night and sweaty and sick and the trash next to the bed and me holding your hand and we said we'd be sick together and that we are one now. Um, and like that always just stuck with me because it was like, bro, like we live together, you know, we're committed, like she's sick i'm gonna be sick um basically like if she's sad i'm gonna be sad like um we're one we're a team now and, like i i really realized it that day you know what i'm saying like i was down to get sick for her i was okay like um and that just moment really really stuck with me and thank you for never giving up on me or us um since we were tiktok crushes flirting through the tiktok comments um and I just remember, like, that's how we really, like, first started talking and, you know, like, flirting through the TikTok comments and just, you know, the, you guys, the viewers, like, going back and forth, seeing us comment on each other's stuff. And then, you know, I remember um, I texted her on her on her birthday when I was in, when I was in Houston. And um, it's just crazy, man. We're, this is our first Easter together. We're about to spend our first summer together, so we're doing a bunch of firsts, and um, it's been a long, long journey, long, rough, not easy journey, but I'm happy to, I enjoy the journey, you know what I'm saying? I enjoy everything that comes with it. Buttercup, if you're seeing this, I just want to say thank you, and I love you, and I appreciate you so much. Alright guys, so here's the basket with mainly everything in there. Here's the chargers tied up. Here's her little makeup. Here's the blackberries. Guys, y'all don't understand. She loves these. This is probably the first thing she's gonna eat. Here's the letter, the peach rings, her Cheetos, the chocolates, and then her flowers down there. Guys, I'm gonna head back. This has been such a freaking crazy journey. I forgot my wallet. Had to go to so many Walmarts. Couldn't find the blackberries. And this is really a little bit of everything that she likes. But yeah, this is a little Easter, Easter basket. And we can't forget the I love me some you letter, you know, a little message I love writing. And that's kind of our little thing we've been doing is like writing to each other. That's one of the ways we've been like coping and getting better at talking to each other is writing stuff out, you know, because you got to think about your thoughts and like you see and you can read it, not just think 
You know what I'm saying? But yo guys, it is already 7.53 and I'm gonna be going home surprising Rosada, showing her the basket. Um, low key, I'm tired. It has been a long, hot and sweaty day, but let's go home and surprise her. Well, I guess I don't get to prepare a surprise you. Here you go, Buttercup. Here you go. Happy Easter. Let me turn on all the lights real quick. All right, here you go, Buttercup. Buttercup. Here is your official Easter basket. Yeah. Hopefully you got some things that you needed. And there's a little letter that you might want to read. So we're gonna start with blue flowers. Yeah, so I wanted to get something like colorful, so I got you some blue flowers. Yeah, they kind of like really remind me of Easter and stuff. So. Yeah, these are cute, thank you. Yeah. Wow, you get a little... Those are cute. I just... I, I can't find any buttercups, so like those are closest that I could come to buttercups, you know? These are cute. We can put these up, actually. actually. Um, I think we got scammed, because uh, I think there's supposed to be one more thingy in there, but... Oh. Yeah. It's okay. But there's still like uh, more in there. This is actually my favorite chocolate. For real? Uh, yeah. Okay, well there you go. Two rows of them. Thank you. And then yeah. there's the car. We can say that to the end if you want. Gum? Um, I know that's your favorite gum. You and say my breadsticks? Nah, I just saw you run it out. See, there's some right there run out. So, two packs. I think there's another pack in there somewhere. Pringles? Yeah, I saw you like the Pringles. Hot Cheetos. Some Hot Cheetos. Um, I couldn't find peach rings, so I got those, that version. Hopefully you like those. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's the Easter basket that Rosada got me. And I went to three different Walmarts and couldn't find any blackberries. So I finally went to Kroger and they had some. So I got you two packets because I know you love them and we always run out. Thank you, Buttercup. And then I got you that. Hopefully it's the right one. Yeah, it is the right one. Right, it is? Yeah. The 22? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And then I got you some new chargers. Chargers? So you could charge your Mac and your phone at the same time. They have like two little ports. And they're like really high quality, you know? So I didn't want to get you some black ones. And that one's pink. Pink? Yeah. Thank you, Buttercup. Mm-hmm, those are from Anchor. Shout out to Anchor for sending those. Yeah, the other one's like a fast charger. Oh, this one? Yeah, that's a fast charger. It's like a big brick. They're really smooth. Yeah, they feel like really good. There you go. 49% charge. 49. Thank you, Buttercup. And then the letter. I don't know if if you want to read it out loud or you could just read it to yourself, but I just read it to myself. You just read it to yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed it Thank and you happy so much. happy Easter buttercup. Happy Easter. I actually never celebrated Easter before. Bro, this is your first ever Easter? Yeah. Well, hopefully it was a good first Easter. Yeah, thank you. Um I'm not really even sure where you're supposed to do on Easter other than like an Easter egg.